We're gonna be making a website in under 10 minutes to help emphasize your brand and level up your business. Let's go. Today's video is gonna be broken down into five steps, from signing up to publishing your website. By the end of today's video, you'll have a personalized, stunning website marketed to your target audience. Step one is to navigate to Weebly.com and sign up. Although there are numerous free website builders, which I talk about in this video here, I found that Weebly is one of the most easy to use and covers essentially every business type. My personal website is built using Weebly. Once you've added your information, Weebly is going to ask you if you would like to build a business website or a personal website. The only true difference here is if you select, I want to build a business website, Weebly is going to add a store page on your website where you can sell products and services online. Step two is to choose a theme. Themes are essentially website templates. Websites are made up of pages and sections. Examples of pages are home, about, contact us, where sections are the parts within each page. For instance, images, text, and forms. By choosing a theme, Weebly is going to create pages and sections that best match your industry. I would recommend choosing your business type up here and then selecting the style that most speaks to you. Moving on to step three, we are going to add a domain name. Go ahead and add your business name. You'll then have the option to select any available domain name by selecting choose. If you decide on a professional domain name, you will have to upgrade to the paid version of Weebly. If you choose the free version, your domain name will include Weebly.com after your business name, but no worries, after you design your website, you can always upgrade this at any time. Go ahead and become familiar with the user interface. Here is where you can view all your pages. You can change page names simply by selecting them, you can even change the order by clicking and dragging each page. Lastly, here's the drag and drop editor where you can add sections onto each page. Every website should have three key pages, home, about, and contact. Let's begin to design our homepage. You can start by selecting my site at the top of your page. Here is where you can add your business name into your header. The header will show on the top of each page on your website. Next, update your banner by adding your company's motto or mission. This is going to be the first thing your visitors see when they navigate to your page, so make sure it's clear and concise. Next, move down to the following section and share some information about your business. I always like to welcome the members to the website and then add a short description of who we are. You can easily upload your own images by double-clicking the stock photo and selecting Replace Image. Next, you'll notice that your homepage might have all these additional sections. If you would like to remove any of these, simply hover over the top portion of that section and select Delete. Now, we're going to use this layout to add links to your home, about, and contact pages. I traditionally add the page names here and upload a corresponding photo. Then is simply select the photo and link that photo to the next page in your website. Now, when that photo is selected, it will move the user to that next page. The last feature of our homepage is gonna be contact us button. This way, your viewers can reach you. Similar to the photos above, when selected, this will navigate the user to your contact page. You can navigate to the contact page by either clicking contact in the header or selecting pages, then contact. This page will be fairly easy to make. As you can see, your header transferred over from your initial homepage. Here is where you can add information like your store hours, business location, or a form to contact you. If the theme you initially selected does not have a place to add this, simply drag and drop the sections you need for additional information. This is an excellent place to add your form to social media, and like the photos before, you can even link this text directly to a URL or an email address. Final step is to publish your website. You can do this by selecting the publishing button. You can actually get a free QR code from QR code generator and put it on your business card, your banner, or right next to your logo. And that's all for today, team. Thanks for joining us in today's video. Comment below some of the links of the websites you make. I'd love to check them out. And as always, we'll see you in the next video and start small, start today.